Hi, Shelly from YouTube Hair Care. I promised you I was going to do a moisturizing for two weeks, but I kind of switching it up. I am going to be doing a protein treatment today because I haven't done a protein in a while. I try to do it six to eight weeks. So I'm going to clarify my hair and I'm going to be using <clears throat> Freeman Sea Scale. Now this is a vegetable protein rich in vegetables from the sea. So we have amino acids, vegetable proteins, strong and nourish hair, improved manageability and shine. And I find this is great for clarifying my hair. This makes my hair absolutely squeaky clean. And when I mean clarify, I want you to hear the squeak. If you don't hear your hair squeaking, it's not squeaky clean. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure my hair is squeaky clean. That means all the buildup of my hair is completely gone. And I need that because I'm gonna be doing a, a protein treatment after and I don't want no barriers between the hair and my uh, conditioner so there's gonna be nothing in between like no thin fill it's gonna be completely off so the protein can get right into the hair and work its magic okay so I'm gonna make sure it's squeaky clean then I'm gonna do another follow-up with this cheap egg protein shampoo nothing big so just to keep in the whole this is protein this is protein and then I will come back and I'm going to show you when I put in the uh, protein treatment. Okay, so I'm going to wash my hair now. See you in two. Hi, so I just came out of the shower, shampooed my hair, twice with the Freeman because there was a lot of conditioner buildup. So twice with the Freeman and then one with the uh, egg shampoo. And I don't know if you can hear, but it's really squeaky clean. Let me see if you can hear it. Yeah. It sounds a lot better when I'm under the shower, you can really hear it, but it's squeaky clean. So anyways, I'm going to go get my scalp treatment, put on my scalp, I'll be right back. And then I'm going to put the, the um, protein treatment in my hair, so give me two seconds, bye. Okay, so remember I told you I had a scalp treatment, I think there's, this one has um, onions, garlic, biotin. Um, cayenne pepper, duck to miracle, mustard oil, and uh, I forget since I'm going to be under the, the dryer and, until the protein t conditioner hardens on my hair that I would do two things at once. So this will um, stimulate hair growth while I'm in there for an hour. It'll get the blood flowing, right? So I'm just going to put that on my scalp, massage it in. I'm not cleaning forward because I remember I got it in my eye one time. Ooh, bad. Not good, not good. Okay, so I'll massage that in. Doesn't smell so pretty, but hey. Okay, so the treatment I'm going to be using is a poochie, I'm sure. Everybody knows this one, right? So I'm going to just pour some of it out into this little container here. I don't know how much I need. And what's the best way to put it on, really? Should I use a brush or should I just grab it? I don't know how to do this, ladies. This is a lot of hair. See, I feel the... Uh, feel my scalp really tingling right now. I'm going to tell you it tingles fast. Right? So, um, I know I got to work fast with this thing. I know some people use a spray bottle. Do I have one available? I think it's better if you can spray it in your hair. Okay. 
This is another one I've used before and it comes in a square bottle and that one really smells like rotten eggs. This one doesn't smell so bad. Juices come down in your eyes. Okay, it looks like it's pretty covered, but I feel like I need more. I don't know why. I feel like I just do. Yeah, I'm just one of those heavy handed people with products, that's it. Solid is really. the situation, does it? <sighs> See, uh, wow, that stuff really, really gets the blood flowing on your scalp. It's really, the juices are actually going on my back and getting my back all tingly and stuff. But I used to actually do this a lot when I was relaxed because I used to treat my hair like every week. But honestly, I've been neglecting my your natural hair because I don't put heat on it. And I'm thinking, oh, it doesn't need that kind of special attention. But that's my bad, right? Ooh. I don't know. I think that's enough. Okay, I'm gonna go under the heat cap. I said to uh not heat cap, my dryer, hooded dryer, until this thing gets hard. So I'm guessing about an hour or so. This is really itching me all over. All right, I'm gonna tough it out. One hour, I'll be back, bye. Okay, so my hooded dryer is so broken. I've had it for so long, I haven't used it in a long time. And I pretty much had to do this on the cool air, which, hmm, not happy, but it is hard. It's hard, so I'm gonna go rinse it out now. It's pretty stiff. It's like I have like eco style in there. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse it out, I'll come back. Then we're gonna moisturize, okay, bye. Okay, so I rinsed it all out and it's time to moisturize this hair. Seems like a real hot tangled mess right now, but we'll detangle it. Okay, so then we have the balancing moisturizer. So I'm gonna put that in. It says to, oh my goodness. I'm gonna saturate my hair with this stuff. I know one girl said it didn't really do much for her hair, so she used something else. I'm gonna use something with it as well. Something that I found works for me. And I'll tell you in a minute. Let me just put this in there though. If I come out. It smells nice though, this stuff. Wow. It smells really nice. Hmm. Almost kind of like a lemongrass. Slight lemongrass scent. I like that citrusy scent. You might find this. I love that citrusy scent. Okay, and then we're just going to do the back. What the back looks like. I'm neglecting it. Okay, so. Doesn't feel moisturizing enough for me, so. I'm going to go with the. Good stuff. Oh, another one? Shit. Stock up on this when it's on sale. So, hello, hydration will be what I put on it as well. I'm curious. Have you guys ever tried this? And I did this totally by mistake, and I've never felt my hair so soft and moisturized. But after washing my hair, I put hello, hydration in it. It was soaking wet, and I um, put a lot of hello, hydration in there. And I cornrowed the hair in two big cornrows and put a clip on the back. 
and I was doing my whole stuff all day with this thing in my hair. And by the end of the day, the hair was dry and the condition hard hardened on the hair. I almost felt like um, gel was on there. So it hardened on the hair. And so just like the protein treatment, I had to like rinse it out slowly and let the, the conditioner come out before I put my hands in it because it was kind of stiff. But let me tell you, when that conditioner came out, my hair was so soft, so moisturized, I couldn't keep my hand out of my hair. I was like, oh my gosh. I have never felt my hair that moisturized. Even when I go under the heater, it's never, ever, ever done that. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna make two braids. And I'm just gonna let this thing dry on my hair till it's hard. And then I'm gonna rinse it out and come back and show you. Okay, but let me try to detangle this. See if it'll, it's a little stiff. This hair feels ugh. This hair feels ugh. Oh boy. Ugh. Oh my goodness. And this one here is longer than a big task. I tell you. I don't think I'm going to braid it because it's so kind of feeling a little tangled right now. I'm just going to water it down a little bit more with the conditioner. Put more water in there. I think I'm going to let it dry like this. A little bit more conditioner on there, so I'm doing when it's saturated. I'm 
this is how I actually wash it in my hair too. Just like this. This is how I wash my hair in the shower. So, all right, ladies. I might put a little clip here just to keep it up, and I'm gonna let it sit for. I don't know. As long as I can until it dries, and then I'm going to rinse it out and show you. And then, as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna do another video. But you won't see that one where I'm starting my moisturizing hair regime for two weeks until my next wash. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse out. You won't see it. And as soon as I do that, I'm gonna start my moisturizing video today as well. So be back in I don't know five hours, two, one. I don't know. Bye. Okay, so my hair is dry. It feels like there's a light hold gel on there. It's a little bit firm, not overly hard, but a little firm. So I'm gonna drink, rinse it out now, and then I'll be back. So hi, I rinsed it out with cool water, and um, it feels really good actually. Not so hard anymore. So easy to comb through now. So I'm just gonna comb it through. And then I'm going to continue with my styling. Okay, so remember the two things I really want you to remember is it doesn't matter if you're doing a protein treatment, cholesterol, moisturizing treatment, you have to strip the hair completely clean of all products. This way the product can get into the hair. Because if it's If it's not, this is even cool. Am I recording? I don't even know if I'm recording. Okay. Am I? Hold on, let's check. Yeah, I was recording. Okay, so strip the hair completely clean and then uh, you do your treatment. Anytime you're doing a treatment, you want to clarify. Clarify, clarify, clarify. Make sure your hair is squeaky clean. That way you're not wasting your money because if there's product buildup on your hair shaft, you are putting a treatment that will not penetrate the um, the shaft because there is like a barrier of products in between your treatment and your hair. So you could be wasting your money. So make sure it's squeaky clean. So find a good clarifying shampoo that works for you. And so that's that for now. I'm going to start moisturizing, but anyways, that's the end of my protein regime, and I guess I'm going to try to do this. I guess the next time I'll do this will be May. I know it's a long time from now, but May, because I think I'm going to flat iron for my year and a half. That will be like when? Around May 21st. I'll be a year and a half. One year natural, a year and a half of growth. So I think I'll flat iron so we can see how much I've grown in six months because I did a flat iron at one year. So I'll flat iron at one and a half year and at two years. And I think I might flat iron every six months just to see the progress. Okay, so anyways, thanks to all my new and old subscribers. And for those who are following me on Twitter, I appreciate it. There's only one problem. I can't remember my password to get in, but give me a couple of days, I'll think about it. And uh, yeah, so anyways, stay tuned. Right, and then actually, like next two weeks, I'm gonna do the um, moisturizing. So in two weeks, you should get it. I'm starting my moisturizing right now, so we will talk later. Bye.